dot method. A dot map is prepared using statistical data. By preparing dot maps, only data gathered through counting is used. The way a variable is distributed throughout the region, the dots are used to show its distribution on the map. For example, the population of a region, the distribution of cattle, etc. To show distribution through dot method, the value of a dot has to be determined. To do that, the lowest and the highest values of a given variable in a region are taken into consideration. Accordingly, the number of dots are determined. Also, we need to consider the size of the dot, the density of the variable, and the scale of the map. The number of dots to be given for the value of variable in each sub-administrative unit needs to be decided first. The following precautions should be taken while using the dot method for a map. The size of a dot should be uniform. The distribution of physiography, water resources, transport system, etc. of a region should be considered while placing dots on a map. While showing population distribution, rural population is shown by dots and circles are used to show urban population. The dot method is most suitable for the variable which is freely scattered across the region. Choropleth method In these maps, the data regarding various geographical variables is shown by shades or tints of various colors. While making such maps, the data used for different variables is obtained through various processes such as measurement, surveying, etc. In this method, only one value is given to one sub-administrative unit in a region. The smallest and the largest values of the given data of the variable are taken into consideration. After that, five to seven classes are made. Each class is assigned a tint of the same color or black and white patterns. The shades or the patterns become darker with the increasing values of the given variable and are drawn accordingly on the map in the given classification. In figure A, B, the population density maps of Amravati district using color shades, black and white patterns are shown. Read any one map in detail and answer the following questions. Name the talukas having population density between 301 and 400 persons per square kilometer. Answer, Anachangao, Surji. What is the density of the Amravati Taluka? Answer, the density of the Amravati Taluka is more than 400 persons per square kilometer. Name the Talukas having population density less than 300 persons per square kilometer. Answer, the Talukas having population density less than 300 persons a square kilometer are Daryapur, Chandur Bazar, Morshi, Barud, Dharani, Chikhaltara, Chandur Railway, Bhatukali, Dhaman Gao, Tivsa, Nand Gao, Khandeshwar. Isopleth Method You have seen contour maps and isobar maps in earlier classes. In these maps, the distribution was shown with the help of lines showing equal values. When the distribution of a variable is continuous, the isopleth method is then used to show its distribution. For example, altitude, temperature, rainfall, etc. For these maps, we need to obtain the accurate data regarding the altitude, temperature, rainfall, etc. of some places in a region. It is assumed that the difference between the altitude or rainfall of two places changes at a uniform rate. The sub-administrative units are not taken into consideration here. Statistical data belongs to the respective places. Such data is known as point-related data. Values of the variable are written on the map at their respective locations. 
If the data for more places is available, mapping of the distribution can be done more accurately. Steps to prepare an isopleth map. On the basis of this information, isopleth maps are prepared using the steps below. By considering the highest and the lowest values of the variable, the class interval is decided to draw the isopleth maps, which in turn decides the difference between the lines. Lines are drawn for the decided intervals. Locations with the same value are joined by a line. Following conclusions are drawn on the basis of the maps prepared in such a way. If the lines are closer to each other, then the change in the variable is steep. And if the lines are away from each other, then it is gentle. We get an idea of the natural trend of the distribution of the variable with the help of this map. In above figure, the rainfall map of Amravati district is given. Read the map in detail and answer the questions. In which part of the district is the rainfall more? Answer, the rainfall is more in north side of district. In which direction is the rainfall decreasing? Answer, the rainfall is decreasing in southwest direction. What is the lowest value of the rainfall in the district? Answer, the lowest value of the rainfall in the district is 800 millimeters. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं, तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें। ऐसे ही और एडुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें।